Welcome back to Fan Talk. Um, today we're going to be watching uh, the trailer. I think this is the third or fourth trailer. Yeah, for uh, First Blood Part 7. Yeah, uh, we're watching the new... <laughs> A.K.A. Last Blood. Yeah, Last Blood, the new <laughs> Rambo movie. Um, I, I gotta say, this movie is one of those... I, I'm kind of... I'm on the fence. Like, I'm kind of excited about going and watching it. And then again, it's kind of like... Do we need another Rambo movie? I kind of sometimes I'm one of those guys that, like I love the original Rambo, you know, First Blood. Mm-hmm. I mean, it wasn't even Rambo; it was just called, you know, First Blood. It was a very different. That was a very different movie than what the series has become. Yeah, um, and the series has become, you know, I had the kind of the '80s excess to them. I mean, the first one was great in its own way. The second one was decent, and then not so much for yeah. a couple more. And then we had the one that came out in the mid two thousands, um, just called was it just called rambo or john rambo yeah it's john rambo i think is the name of that one and, and then that one was decent but it was also it was like a scaled back grittier version of the 80s uh, over the top part yeah and it was just kind of like the like what happened to him after he got out of prison and you know came home you know yeah kind of like, vietnam 20 something years later yeah and uh this one i don't really know what to expect from it because it's like wh- what the heck you know but we're gonna watch the trailer we'll talk a little bit more after we watch this yeah When I came home a long time ago, I was lost. Then I met Gabrielle. Uncle John! And I had a family that I never thought I'd have. Okay. Need some more storyline. I need to go to Mexico. I found my father. He's not a good man. Porque nunca se ha portado como tu padre. That man is more your father. She went to Mexico. I never came back. Same motivation uh, now. Okay. The most cartel in Mexico. I know this wasn't domestic. I figured it'd be in South America somewhere. Mexico makes sense too. Andas perdido, viejito. Donde está? Que es de ti esta. See, now I'm excited. Now I'm like, okay, this is a. Rambo vs. Cartels. Heck yeah. yeah. <laughs> All the baby traps. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. I'm gonna tear I think this will be rated right R. Okay, see, I can get behind this now. <laughs> see, see, like this is uh, this is what I'm talking about. This is why sometimes more information is good because yeah, I have a semblance of a storyline and plot yeah, structure. Yeah, cool, well, because my whole thing is I'm like, how is Rambo like like you know the other previews we saw the the one that started off? It's like oh all my secrets, all my this that. And I'm like what and he's secrets? Like, oh, Frankie man, Vietnam. and the guy shows up like with multiple SUVs trying to kill him. Like yeah, and like you're an old Vietnam vet. What does that have anything to do with this? What secrets? That, that, that did you keep from Vietnam that has anything to do with all these Mexicans? Now I get it. It's yeah. different secrets, different things. He came home, he built a life for himself, and daughter's it, in trouble with the cartels. Yeah, it got effed up, and now he's like, people going down, you know? And I like I can appreciate John Rambo tearing up some drug cartels. I'm yeah. like, heck yeah. Yeah. I'm excited now too. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> okay. Now I'm Trailers, they don't need to give away everything, a.k.a. Terminator Genesis, and some yeah. others that give away like the entire twist, but they need to give at least a basic idea of what you're getting into. Yeah, well, because like we said before, it's like, do I need another Rambo movie? How are you going to take this old, you know, Vietnam vet and, and make it relevant now? Well, it's it's a dad story, you know? It's, it's a taken story, you know? It's like, yeah. oh, somebody messed with my kid, they get all going down. He has a very special set of skills. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> and so now it's like, okay, we got John Rambo who, you know, effed up. The Russians, he he fought, uh, like, you know, everybody. He fought the cops. These guys fought everybody. These these, these cartel guys, they don't have a chance. You know they don't what? They have a chance. A few weeks ago, we did the uh, character kind of fights of uh, Wick and uh, McLean. I yeah. changed my John to John Rambo. John Rambo and John Wick. John Wick's still going to win, man. 
<laughs> John Rambo too old. <laughs> and his prime. He was. I'm not even going to say that because it's going to throw him back in my face. But in, in, in the yeah, in, this in, looks good. This in looks his fun. heyday, though, the John Rambo character. I mean, he was. It was awesome because he was that guy that like he comes back from the war and he's a soldier. And it's back before people really understood what it took to be an American soldier. Unless you were there and you you did it, you had no idea. And like me, like my war was totally different than these Vietnam vets. I've hung out with a lot of Vietnam vets when I got home uh, at the local VFW. And, and it's kind of funny talking to some of these guys. It's like they're two totally different things, but the things it takes to become a soldier at that level when you're looking at becoming a you know a ranger and a green beret or special forces and the you know navy seal um you know you the commitment you have to put into this and how it changes you as a human being in general it, it, it's it's a lot and a lot of people really underestimate the skill level of all these people when they come home there's nothing really for us to turn that into yeah. so we end up doing other things i've seen some great videos where it's like you know, talk about this, you know, John from the office who just, you know, came out that he, you know, had all these medals and this, that, and the other. It's hard to believe that, you know, smiling John in the suit actually did this, this, and this, and this overseas. And it's like, it's hard to, because we have to come home and find other jobs and do other yeah. things. And uh, I thought that that movie, especially for that time period, was hit the nail right yeah, on the head. Yeah, hit the nail on the head. It's like these guys were, were damaged people. They, they had PTSD before we even really knew what that was. And they're coming home and they weren't. Well, treat, the politics of the time. Time were, were different. Right. Yeah, they were treated differently. And, and this guy was honestly a hero. But on top of that, he was a scary individual. Yeah. He did well, not need movies, to be messed with. Well, yeah. then the movies kind of went the 80s over the top action yeah. and made him into an 80s kind of superhero. Superhero in a lot of ways, yeah. But I mean, a Just lot like of moved in hot shots. Yeah, you know, but uh, <laughs> I, I really, like I said, First Blood I really liked. And the other ones were just kind of guilty pleasure kind of films. This one actually looks like it's, I'm probably going to enjoy it more than the other Previous Rambo, it looks uh, like it's gonna be a lot of fun and old man Rambo. Yeah, old man Rambo <laughs> messed up some cartels. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll go give it a watch. Yeah, we'll check that one out. We'll get back to you guys. And that one comes out pretty soon, so it won't be too long. We'll get yeah. a review out for you. Until then, please remember to like and subscribe. <laughs>